This is Salamancer. You are watching Sal TV, and I'm pretty sure that in Skyrim this was not a site that you would normally see. But you know what? Uh, having only just started playing it, I guess I can't really speak uh, speak accurately about that. So we'll see. Once I finish the game, maybe maybe we'll see something like this engineer. Oh no! Looks like he actually changed hats. And <laughs> oh, that is uh, it's pretty hilarious. All right. So that was Desuk. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but from Team Brushy, and apparently he is just going insane, so we're going to watch him do that for a while. While we introduce the teams, this is going to be Colgate and the Toothbrushes in the in the blue, I'm sorry, versus Exodus Society in the red. This is a game from UGC Silver on Barn Blitz. Of course, the Barn Blitz games happened about a week ago, but hey, why not watch one more? Because I know you guys are all super interested while this NG freaks out. <laughs> one of my favorite things to do before, uh, before a game starts, too. And so I do have some information about the Colgate and the Brushies team, and that is that they are apparently all bronies. That's what they wanted me to say. Uh, if that is not true, then apparently somebody is trolling me. And Exodus Society, I know they have been around for a very long time. Um, there's Exodus Jedi, which I think is the Platinum team, and Exodus Society, which I believe they are associated, because uh, they both have roughly the same tag. And uh, actually, you look and see who is on that team and bot. You know Bot. If you don't know Bot, you haven't been watching my channel enough because he's been in practically every game ever. Uh, he's in he's in ESEA on a 6v6 team, and he's also in a UGC playing a Highlander. Uh, this guy is just a gamer extraordinaire playing the Huntsman right now, which is pretty hilarious, but he might get a nice little headshot here. Oh, not quite. I like the flaming arrows he's got going on, though. And this is a pretty good position to be uh, sniping from, although I really would like to see him use the regular rifle, because he actually can get away with that, but I don't know, it's like he's just having a little bit of fun. Meanwhile, Poo Poo the Slot <laughs> taking down Patty the Soldier from uh, Team Brushy, and so far, no team popping the Uber yet. We do have uh, Roth here starting to move out here, and apparently he's a little bit too busy with his 401k to really go take out the sentry just yet, but uh, you know, I think that retirement account will be set up pretty soon. He'll be able to rush forward and try and knock all this out. And yes, I did just make a, uh, a 401k joke. I feel bad about that. I really do. Um, and right now, there goes the Uber out of both teams a little bit later for our red team, but uh, they are trying to stop this blue Uber coming in from Colgate and the Toothbrushes. And so far, not working all that well. Roth actually uh, just wrecking most of the red team here, and the Toothbrushes are looking solid at the moment. So Exodus Society is going to have to back off. That they, they did not hold that first point for very long at all. A minute. A minute was all they got. And uh, Red Demo. Oh my gosh. Uh, Red Demo did get taken out there pretty darn quickly. Plus, you look at this. They've got the Sniper and Scout pushing the cart. That is exactly what you have to do. You hear that so many times. That uh, pretty much you just need to have that times three on the cart. So keep the Scout back there. Because Scout, I mean, it's tough to get the flanks. And tough to get really anything done when you've got a map that is so heavily defensive. Like, uh, like Barn Blitz. Most payload maps are similar where the defending team really has an advantage. There's a lot of narrow choke points, and so scouts have a tough time getting in anywhere, but they are very useful pushing that cart because of the times two rate, and then you just have somebody else, uh, somebody like a weak class, pretty much, or somebody who can get away with sitting back on the cart and still dealing a lot of damage from long range, like the sniper. Pretty darn useful. Gonna go for the sniper here, but right now there is a crit creek pop. He, oh, Pound Cake does take down Serene. So no heals for a little while, and that crit creek it was... Uh, cut short just a little bit, but Poo Poo the Slut, oh, not quite, <laughs> I love saying that guy's name, not quite fast enough to stop that capture, so this might be a quick game, actually, uh, it's all going to be up to whether Bot can do some pretty serious sniping here, looks like he is starting to take the game a little bit more seriously now, Bot is a pretty wicked sniper, although <laughs> we haven't seen that yet, but he really is, I promise, uh, I've caught him quite a few times doing some hilarious snipes, but he's going to have to deal with Pound Cake, and he's going to have to deal with a Frontier Justice Engineer, and apparently that is not going to work for him. Now, he will have called that out, so at least the red team is going to know that there is an NG nest up there, and you do see a little bit of spam coming up trying to hit... Oh, actually, the red NG had a sentry nest up here as well. Blue NG is just right upstairs, or at least he was. Looks like he has been taken out already, so that's good. Um, well, good for the red team. Not for blue so much, but blue pushing up this hill. This hill, so hard to get up properly. But apparently they're going to get it because, look, Exodus Society only has three members remaining. This is such a steamroll right now coming out of the Colgate and Toothbrush's team. And this is UGC Silver. It is not Platinum, but it is pretty up there. Silver is one of the higher divisions of UGC. And Lint, um, up. speaking of Lint, by the way, if you've got some extra pocket Lint in TF2, I don't want it. I do not want it at all. 
<laughs> don't even know what they're going to be used for to craft or whatever, but I, I just don't want it. Um, anyway, so far this is really looking rolly for our brony team in the blue. Um, it all comes down to how look how quickly they can cap this last point, because you look at the time they've set so far, it is three minutes. Three minutes is a wicked awesome time. There is, oh, I like the sentry position, gotten it up onto these crates. Very difficult to spam it up there because you got to thread those rockets just right. Um, the, the roof is actually going to help cover it quite a bit. And so it looks like finally Red Team has managed to set up a decent defense. They lost their meds, so they're not going to have the uber they need when Brushy comes back in. I'm sorry, not Brushy, um, Storb, the medic, comes back in. Plus we got Pound Cake coming up, getting a heal again. This guy has been sniping up a storm today, but he is going to have to be careful but that soldier chasing him down. The soldier, of course, being Pei Pei, who we have shoutcasted before. Oh, nice headshot there on the heavy Billy Bob, but he is getting healed by the med, so still overhealed. We're going to have to see which heavy wins this battle, and it is probably going to be, oh no, red retreating. Billy Bob actually gets taken down, uh, so that's going to be quite a helpful little thing here for our red team. Now, oh, this is the problem with leaving that sentry up there. It's not able to hit up there very easily. Um, it is actually like when he tries to wrangle it, if you saw it was uh, shooting into the ceiling, not a very good thing, but okay, uber pop now, can our blue team take the sentry down, looks like they are dealing a lot of damage to it, but that, oh, yep, they will, engineer just died, so that's going to take that down pretty quickly, there you go, it wasn't even able to track that soldier at close range fast enough to uh, get the damage done, and so this is probably going to be a push successful for our blue team, there's only one defender up alive right now, uh, he did just get some respawners to come in and help, but Doing everything he can to just try and slow this push down, and I don't think it's going to happen. Another mini sentry does go up here. Now, Desuk does get taken down. And they're doing a good job of delaying this just a little bit, but now, you know, Spawn's getting camped by a flaming heavy. And, oh, I don't know. Oh, they're actually doing a pretty decent job. They just barely held that off. Spy is going to come in and try to get a stab, but that's not going to work very well. Nobody really paying attention to him, though, so he could still do it. Uh, nope. Not going to happen. But there is still a continued push coming in from Colgate and the Toothbrushes. It's just they're losing their med. Uh, that is not what you want to do. Really, what they probably should have done was leave the med back, have him uh, have him just build Uber on one target, and then send everybody else in, because uh, the, the suicides could have kept Exodus Society off their feet, off balance, and then they could have brought in the Uber advantage. Well, they might still have one, though, because it was a nice little headshot by Poundcake, taking down Serene. So no more med at the moment for Exodus and Society, but uh, Storb does need to start healing because he's not building that uber right now, you notice, and he's not even using the, uh, not even using the Vitasaw, so he is actually going to be behind in the ubers on the situation he wanted to be in. But man, this, this last point on Barn Blitz is just so difficult to push. And if you have played Barn Blitz before in your life, you probably know. Uh, oh, going for the stair stab, not going to work at all. Poo poo the slut does get taken out by a nice little grenade. Sounds like... Bot does take down Patty, so Bot doing his job on the sniper. We missed him on the camera. Too bad. But Billy Bob down once again, and Serene is still down. So the Brushies do once again, I think, have an opportunity to push in here. And they have kept that cart in position. You, every time they suicide somebody in to get a little bit closer, he's been pushing it. Just now it does start moving back, and the medic gets popped up into the cart. So it, even though they lost the med, the cart is going to stay there for another 30 seconds. Plus... Fennec get a nice little staff here on the uh, sentry. So that is going to be a nice quick time. Oh, heavy. Can he stop it? Nope. Going to drop in there with the cart, and there goes the map. 6.55. Not a bad time. Of course, it is double what they spent on the... the fir almost double what they spent on the first three points. So, still, normal barn blitz times are more like anywhere between 10 and 16 minutes. So a seven-minute time, that is pretty darn good. And uh, there is some discussion about the Vitasaw. Whoa, everybody just suicided at once. That was hilarious. <laughs> I think they all counted down to that. That is awesome. Uh, of course, they will be setting up... Wait. He's using mini sentries on defense. Metal for the NG God. Yes, that is what just happened. Oh, the NG God, of course, is not named Arnok. But if you know what I'm referring to, that's awesome. Uh, I was going to say Vitasaw. Um, sorry about that, because I'm stupid. Vitasaw, what do you... Oh my gosh, I don't think he needs any more. Uh, but if you like the Vitasaw, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know. In, in the video comments on YouTube, um, I would appreciate knowing your thoughts on it, because yeah, you lose 10 health, and it might make you just a slight bit more conservative than you would be without, you know, with like the Ubersaw. In fact, the Ubersaw promotes a much more aggressive style of play than the Vitasaw does. Um, but you get 20% Uber, like every time you die. And you just get to preserve that, so... It's pretty good. Pretty darn good. 
I do like my Uber Saw Ivy. I like using it a lot because it, it makes me ridiculously aggressive. Brushy and I'm sorry, Pound Cake in a nice little position with the Machina, but oh, Bot is just like, no, sir. We'll see you later. We're going to watch the offense from Exodus Society. Can they get this uh, offense working? So far, they've not had a pop through yet. And Bot is taking down people left and right. Poo Poo the Slut is in trouble. And he does get taken down. I don't find the bot cam because he's been doing some crazy damage so far. Gotta watch out because that sniper on the enemy team will be spawning soon. And he's getting pressured pretty hard here. But he does take down the mini sentry. The rest of his team trying to push forward. It looks like they have sent their... Oh no, they sent their heavy in. And he died to a backstab. So good backstabs coming in from the red spy at the moment. But Exodus Society still has their uber. So they can still uh, push that sentry location. And the funny thing is, there isn't going to be a sentry location, because remember, there's many sentries on defense, so there will not be a full level 3. It's going to be a sniper battle now between bots and... Oh, actually, bots is just deciding not to take that battle. Instead, he's going for the heavy headshots. Um, was that a... I don't even know if that was a uh, crits on defense, but it looks like neither team doing great on defense so far. Offense is where it's at. Uh, this card's going to get pushed pretty soon. The Uber is just now finished. I'm sorry we missed that for Exodus Society and Serena in trouble. But we'll get back, probably grab this health kit when it respawns. Or maybe just push forward. He's going to ask his heavy for a sandwich, but who knows. This doesn't look like they need it at the moment, because everybody from Colgate and the Toothbrushes died hilariously. And so this is what you have to do. I like what Exodus Society is doing right now. They are pushing forward, trying to gain as much ground as possible. The Spy, he's right there. He's right there. He's literally right there. Okay, well, cool. And he's going to decloak behind your team, and you're all going to die. Um, but yeah, they try to take as much ground as possible, push forward. They, what they really want to do is not let the enemy set up up here. And so right now the brushies are standing upstairs. Watch the Roth cam for a little bit. The the managed managed retirement account right here. How is it that Roths work again? Are they the ones where you don't pay tax until after you pull it out? I don't remember. Uh, regardless, it's uh, it's super boring. So incoming. Uh, Coming Uber from the blue team, a counter Uber from red, and they are going to take down Serene right away. Good focus fire from uh, Roth here. And this Uber is just going to finish, but they mow down the scout and the heavy and going to keep that medic safe from the pyro as well. Even this demo man probably going to end up dying. He is trapped down there. He does take down Alice, the pyro. And now the brushies are in a little bit of trouble because they're down a bunch of players, and of course that respawn timer is going to be pretty long. They have to get in position to defend again. They still have the heavy medic combo upstairs, though. And they've got their sniper. So they're not in too much trouble. Plus, my voice is going to... Like, by the end of this, my voice is going to die. Just want to let you know. It's... Uh, it already hurts. <laughs> but Colgate and the toothbrushes standing up here and making sure, that, aside from the fact that their teeth are clean, also making sure this point is clean. The cards get dangerously close, though. And there it goes. Captured right away. We do have red team members defending, trying to keep the scout away, but the scout was the one who got that cap. And now... The Uber is pretty much just to... I don't even know what they're doing with this right now. Probably forced well, but I don't even know. So at this point, Colgate Toothbrush is probably going to set up a sentry maybe here. This is usually where people set it up, although we did see... Oh, no, he might still be on defense. Uh, I'm sorry, on mini sentries. Hang on, we got to find him. When he respawns, that is. Okay, there's... Oh, there's going to be an Uber. Never mind, we'll find him in a bit. This Uber is going to be make or break. There is a pyro behind the team right now, but they know he's up there. Probably going to take him down without too much trouble. Problem is, Serene is not really paying attention to what's happening over here right now. And he's taking a bunch of damage. He did get the Uber forced, but at least did not die. And yes, it is still many sentries on defense. So, not going to be a super, super hard nut to crack here on defense. More of a soft, uh, soft defense. And that mini sentry getting sapped. It's not going to work at all. The Brush is losing a couple players. They do take down the enemy medic, though. And the cart's rolling back down that hill. That is useful for them. Oh, good Uber to save Roth as well. So this cart is not moving anywhere for a while. And the longer that they take to push this cart up the hill, of course, it falls back all the way down the hill if you do not push it all the way up and stay on it the entire time. Um, <clears throat> the longer they take trying to get up this hill, of course, the, the longer, or the shorter amount of time they have to try and cap the last point. You do see 2 minutes 26 seconds left on that timer. That timer is the one that matters because if they cannot beat the uh, toothbrushes time then that is going to be a round in favor of Colgate and the toothbrushes. Of course, uh, remember that Colgate set the time first of about seven minutes. Now Exercise has to beat that. Uh, Fennec is... Oh, Fennec is in such trouble right now. Using the cloak and dagger so can stay cloaked for as long as he needs to. 
and probably wants to decloak just about now. Start going for some chain stabs. He does spot the med, but pretty much couldn't go for anybody. No! Good work by the pyro to turn around and be spy checking constantly. That's what you like to see. And incoming blue uber. This is going to be good for the Exit Society team. They are not going to let a defense get set up in here at all. Mowing down a bunch of players here. Billy Bob is going to spawn camp them while that cart gets pushed in. That's exactly what you need to do if you want to beat that time. Right now, a bunch of players are dying on offense, though. This is not going to be good for them. So they're only really going to have time for one more push if they can't make this successful. Uh, Jin trying his best to keep that cart moving forward towards the goal. Is about a minute and a half left to go, and Jin is taking a bunch of damage. Oh, he does get taken out. But Pycodes, Pycodes, sounds like a... a Constellation. Is it a Constellation? Maybe. Um, was in there doing a bunch of damage. Did take down Roth, but that is the only player dead right now for Colgate and their toothbrushes. Uh, about a minute left to go here, and most of the blue players are actually not taking a teleporter to even get there. So that is trouble. Yeah, only time for one more push here. They may try and get their Uber up. They've got the time to do that but not a lot of time. They need to use this Uber and immediately get a whole bunch of kills and they need to make sure Oh, excuse me. They need to make sure their opponents do not have Uber, which they do. So they're going to have to get in there and force it quickly and then build their own Uber up and come back in and destroy. Because remember, this 100% this Uber that uh, Storb has right now, that is eight full seconds of the cart not moving. So all he has to do is pop the Uber, stand on the cart for eight seconds while, while he's invincible. And so that's eight seconds the cart can't move. And pretty much now that we're down to about 20 seconds here with nobody pushing the cart, that's going to be it. They can't actually get the cart there in time. And this is exactly what you do with the Uber. Just body block that cart, make sure it cannot move forward. Uh, they don't even have to get a bunch of kills anymore because there's like 12 seconds left. The cart is going to be pretty close, but no cigar. Ugh, even Serene jumping in and trying to get in on the action, but it is too late. A Pretty staunch defense there on last. Just barely clutching it out for Colgate and the toothbrushes. So that is going to be halftime. Right, we're in round two. I do remember they do play a best of three stopwatch rounds. So the way this is going to work, and I know I say it like every time, but now of course, um, oh, there we go. The brushies are on defense first. So their opponents are going to try and set the time, and then the brushies are going to try and beat it. And I gotta tell you, a seven minute capture time on Barn Blitz makes me happy because Barn Blitz usually lasts hours. So uh, that was a good short first round. But we are into the second round now, and whichever team gets the fastest capture time and the most points wins. If that doesn't make any sense, screw you. Just kidding. <laughs> no, it's stopwatch mode. So if, if I don't explain it very well, um, maybe somebody in YouTube comments can explain it better than I can. And you can all vote it up and be like, look, this is how stopwatch mode works. Or you can look it up on the wiki. I don't even know. Is it on the wiki? It probably is. But uh, competitive TF2, ladies and gentlemen. And Fennec is just standing out in the middle of the open here. I'm not entirely sure why. Okay, going to be watching for the uh, where the team is actually attacking, I think. Going to try and spot him through here. But really, there's not a lot to spot. And Oh, okay. Just standing on top of the card. That's cute. Of course, the blue team doesn't know anything about this. Oh, got to be careful, though, because I think they just spotted him. Nope. Looks like they don't know. Nice little stab there by Fennec. Going for a double, but can't manage to hit it. Unless the Brushies do immediately get a nice little heavy pick. Uh, but of course, that Medic is not going to walk out there. Not until they've taken some ground as the team. That's kind of what has to happen here, is the blue team needs to take... Wow, they've actually pushed that car really far in the first couple of seconds here. Uh, but the blue team will have to take some ground before the Medic will feel safe coming out of spawn, because if you walk out of spawn as a Med right off the bat, you're just going to get sniped or backstabbed or something is going to happen to you. And then your Uber will be useless. The Uber is really going to be needed to take, you know, the first point. Each, each Uber, if you can do it right, you're going to walk in here with this Uber. You're going to clear out the room of defenders. And that is going to help you win this point. Right now, the Pyro doing his best, but Alice can't hold it down. So that is a 50-second first point capture time for Exodus Society. And i got to tell you, I, this once again, they're doing exactly what they have to do, which is push forward probably want to push forward even farther. And there you go. Billy Bob is taking some ground here as the heavy being the front line, the tip of the spear. Of course, he is the biggest, fattest, bluntest tip of a spear you will ever see. But uh, that is what he's doing. And now the turntable is going to turn. It's going to take a little bit for the uh, for the table to get set up where the cart can roll across it. A little dynamic payload style. And Billy's going to have to drop a say Oh, no, not drop it, but eat it. He's looking so happy right now. As the rest of his team is getting ready to push forward here. Still no level 3 sentry from Colgate and the Toothbrushes. So they are pretty confident in their their uh, mini sentry defense. Just a little bit weird. Um, of course, in season 
was season 10 or season 9, we did see some cute little mini-century defenses from ESEA in 6v6. And that was actually a pretty effective thing. But uh, these days it is, of course, banned from ESEA. Not too bad, but what are you going to do? I mean, you know, there's a good reason for it. And Spy wanted to get that stab, but that's not going to happen. Billy Bob now down, so it looks like the Exodus Society team is going to take a little while to get to this third point. Um, the only issue right now is that really there isn't much of a, a solid defense that, that uh, the Brushies can rally around. They still don't have the level 3. Alright, so that pause is now over. Sorry about that. Not really a lot has happened so far. But the Brushies now are going to be trying to defend that third point as they did lose the second one. And good little saps here by Fennec, but he does get taken down. It's going to be too bad. You know what we haven't seen a lot of yet is the soldier cams. Probably should watch those a little bit. So the Brushies actually are in... Uh, oh, they're a little bit out of position here. That is not going to be very good. Uh, Patty taking a nice little jump here. Going to take Bot down. So that's a nice thing. That's really what you need to see, too, is the, uh, the snipers... One easy way to get rid of them, if you can get around, is having having your soldier jump in. Actually, nobody notices the soldiers up here right now, so I'm going to try and... Uh-oh! Uh oh, uh -oh, uh oh That is a good force pop there out of Patty. Yeah, I like that... Uh, nice little ambush. It's going to slow down the Exodus Society team a little bit, because it was a nice force pop out of that med, and there finally goes Patty. Getting taken out, but did his job perfectly. And we've got... Tommy using the Mad Milk, which, by the way, pretty awesome device to help the team out. Uh, a lot of Highlander scouts use this because it essentially gives your entire team health as long as they're dealing damage. And there goes Poo Poo the Slut. I like it. It's almost as good as the name Poopy Joe for a monkey. But right now, uh, Pei Pei jumping in. It can't really do a lot, but 343 once again. It's a very quick time for those first three points. It's, it's all about now the... Uh, it's all about the last point and how long Colgate and the toothbrushes can defend it. It's Patty's oh nice little rocket jump there and coming straight in on top of the med, getting him down. That was a sweet jump, I gotta say. Of course Serena is down, um, I'm sorry, Storb is down as well. So both the meds dead, meaning that uh, it's sort of an advantage for the brushies as long as they can keep their defense up, but once again I'm willing to bet they don't have oh would you look at that? Desuk has finally decided to put up a level 3 sentry. And I'm thinking... I'm thinking... No, I'm just kidding. I don't do that. <laughs> I'm thinking the Kami. Yeah, getting a nice little kill here on Pei Pei, who was covered in PP. <laughs> and now Brushies are kind of set up here on defense for a little while. The, uh... Ooh. Is that reflected Mad Milk? Might have been. Serene down once again. That means there is going to be no Uber for a little while here for Exeter Society. So it's just going to prolong the time that the Brushies get to defend this point. Uh, I would like to see the blue team kind of suiciding in. And their entire team. This is what I want to see. Everybody except one player. Maybe the heavy or maybe the soldier or something. Everybody suicides in. Tries to focus down the sentry. Or tries to focus down the medic. And right now Storb is actually down. Uh, I don't know how that happened. But with no med at the moment, that's going to mean Brushies are going to have some trouble. That sentry is still up, and it's still going to be doing a lot of damage. Oh, we missed Alice getting a reflect kill. My bad. Pike, he's going to try and lay sticks down at the sentry. So close to killing it, and he does. That is going to be super useful for Exodus Society, so they should be able to get in here and deal the damage pretty shortly. They just need to make sure that they get that, uh, that Uber actually built up. Is there a uh, spy, I'm sorry, up here? No, there is not. So that, uh, the sentry, I'm sorry, the Uber. I'm so confused right now. Uber will get built. Pike, he's probably going to take that. Yes, he does. Going to try and make sure there is no sentry going up. Is he going to get any kills, though? The rest of his team needs to get in here. Nice pills. So he does get the one. And the two kills on Kami. And now just going to start spamming towards the door. The rest of his team is getting in here. So pretty soon they should get the cap as long as they can prevent their opponents from getting in too much of a defense. There goes that mini sentry. It is down. And so many players down. There you go. 604. Now that is a time beat. Exodus Society. Bring in the pain. Cat friend, what? <laughs> okay, nice, nice name. I'm going to watch the cat friend again. Oh, he's apparently going mini sentry defense now, too. All right, well, apparently that's that's pretty crazy. Um, anyway. Oh, no, there you go. He does decide to change off. And interestingly, his stuff didn't... Did his stuff break? His stuff might have broken. 
Because when you do chain wrenches, sometimes all of your stuff disappears. Uh, I don't know the exact rules for that. I know your sentry will die every time, because there used to be a, a couple of exploits where you could, like... You could do weird stuff, like making a level 3 mini sentry and all kinds of weird crap. <clears throat> so they changed it. Um, but we will see Exodus Society setting up a level 3 over in the barn, which is about to get blitzed. Oh! And by the way, apparently Serene is a girl. Thank you, Bone Masher, for that trivia. So I will I will now not use the improper pronoun for that. And I'm not trying to showcase it because I'm like, doho a girl gamer, which I, I do get a lot of, but I just basically because I like using the right pronouns for people. You know? Sometimes I'll get I'll get trolled. Somebody will say, oh no, it's totally a dude. And then later on, after I've casted it, somebody will come back and go, no, nah, dude, she, she doesn't like you anymore because you called her him the entire game. I'm like, aww. <laughs> All right, teleport going up there. So, Exodus is going to be uh, setting up a pretty standard defense here. Sorry, is this Exodus? Yes, setting up a standard defense inside the barn. I am so stupid. Demo jumping in immediately. Uh, pretty darn aggressive play. Not able to deal quite enough damage yet to cause a force pop or get a kill or anything. Uh, heavy with the Iron Curtain trying to sneak around. He is taking a lot of damage, but we'll be able to back up. Billy Bob still with 180 health or so. Not getting the heals on quite yet. And uh, Bot deciding he doesn't really want to stay in there. I wouldn't either. Looking for the headshot. Not able to get it yet. Maybe he should be using that cozy camper. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know, maybe. And right now, it sounds like the Uber is pi. In fact, the Uber is finished. And there is still a sentry in here. So this is good for Exodus Society. As long as they can keep their sentry alive. Oh, it's getting sapped right now. And the spy is still alive. That's always useful to get the harass going down. Uh, dispenser is still up, though. So... Oh, and the brushies have, have not... Oh! Oh! Oh, they're actually going to get it because nobody's able to stop that cart from getting captured. Cute. All right, so the sentry, not actually that useful. They're just going to push the cart straight through here, and they're going to completely bypass the sentry. Now, that is going to be a little bit of a problem because there is still, I think, a teleporter in here. Uh, yes, there is. And so there can be players coming in and causing havoc behind enemy lines. Uh, but the brushies are pushing, well, they're not pushing the cart anymore. But they can pretty much just bypass that entire sentry nest if they want to. Uh, shut down the barn by keeping the players out of it. There you go, they do kill that uh, heavy. So this sentry, the funny thing is, is the longer the NG stays up and keeps the sentry alive there, the, uh, the less time you'll have to set up a defense on the second point. So he's going to have to balance between leaving the sentry and teleporter up there and just... Okay, so sentry's been taken down anyway. In fact, all of his stuff's been taken down. So, there's no balance. He's going to have to set his stuff up right up here very quickly, though, if he wants to get a defense up. And so he is getting his medal right now. Sentry's going up first, but that cart is... Well, not the cart, but the team. The Brushy's getting in real fast. Patty jumping straight in. Not able to get the damage done. And so the Brushies, oh, they're going to have a little bit of trouble here. This is a short time to work with, four minutes to get it all the way to the very end. I don't know if they're going to be able to do that. That is, in fact, a very difficult thing to do on this map especially. But the Sentry's been sapped. So they're going to get this card through pretty quickly. Billy Bob down as well, which means he can't jump down on top of people's heads and just uh, lay waste with the minigun. Plus, there is a nice forward mini sentry. Good use of the Frontier Justice to take down that Pyro pretty quickly. And the Uber is just now popped on red, finishing up, I think. Serene, she is down once again. And pretty much it's going to be all about the last point defense right now. Poo Poo the Slut here going for the Ambassador headshots, but going to get taken out pretty quickly unless... There you go. Nice uh, cloak up. Oh, <laughs> what? I think I, I we didn't get to see it, but Bot just shot uh, Patty out of the air with a headshot from the Huntsman. Ridiculous. So we're going to see whether the Brushies, they do get this point cap pretty quickly. And do remember that they only took about four minutes in the first round to cap the last point. Uh, we'll see if they can accomplish the same feat. In fact, they have to do even faster. Three minutes. But they did get a nice time on those first three points because their opponent's defense was not up to snuff. So the question is, what can the Brushies do to get in there right away? Billy Bob trying to hold down this upstairs. You do see that this is uh, one of the entrances, one of the many entrances to the last point. But there aren't that many. It's, it's like this room, which you have to walk up these weird stairs and get killed. Or is this room where you have to walk up these weird stairs and get completely destroyed by a heavy. Heavy is great for that hallway. Uh, so is Demo Man. And then it's this is the only other entrance. So very, very turtly on this last point of Barn Blitz. And it's already done two minutes. I doubt whether we're going to see... Uh, 
the Brushies win this, so we'll probably go on to a third round. Which, hopefully, is just as short as these. Because these have been nice, short rounds. I do like it. Like he's laying some good spam down at the door at the moment. He's leaving his heavy upstairs to do the spam from up there. Uh, and Fennec down right now, so no spy going to come in and sap that sentry. Where is the sentry? we got to find that out. Uh, it sounds like it is in the same spot here. It is on top of the crate. I like that. It's a cute little spot for it. And Poo Poo going to be sneaking around all the way to spawn, probably going for that teleporter. Now, he's not going to be getting a lot of picks here. That's the only thing. Um... Not going to be trying to kill the med, and the med does come in with the Uber right now, so it's going to be Poo Poo going for maybe uh, back spawn kills. Cat Friend doing his best to keep his sentry up, and Poo Poo is going to go for the sap, taking down that uh, sentry. And looks like the brushies did not succeed on that push either, so a lot of action going on. I, I do apologize. I, I don't have the time to set up picture in picture or anything like that. Um, but Poo Poo does manage to take all that down. Oh, <laughs> the pyro, not able to spot him either. Oh, no, that scout's going to get you, man. He's going to get you. Nope. So that is going to be that for our spy's little run. But he did take down the teleporter, which is super useful, because you look at this, it's like 50 seconds left to go, and everybody on Colgate and the toothbrushes has to walk all the way to the point. But, oh, no, I'm sorry. He's, he is back in his own spawn. I thought he was somewhere else. Um, brushies, they almost have an Uber. But 30 seconds left to go. This is shaping up to be just like the end of last round. Uh, except for the other team, where the Uber is going to come in, but there's only 30 seconds to get the cart pushed all the way to last. The uh, the sentry is still up now. It looks like they are starting to spam it down a little bit, and actually only one player left alive on defense. Everybody dying on the defensive team. 15 seconds, and I think the cart will actually get there. This might be the end of the game right now on Barn Blitz. They're probably the fastest game of Barn Blitz you will ever see in your life. 10 seconds, and that cart got in there. That is GG, ladies and gentlemen. Exodus Society losing a two Colgate and the Toothbrushes in UGC Silver. So that puts, uh, I think that puts the Toothbrushes at a 3-0 um, record. That's the word I was looking for for the entire season. So thank you for watching. I do hope you hang around at youtube.com slash fatmop. Hit the subscribe button there because that, my friends, is where all of the HD quality videos go. Uh, for these kind of shoutcasts and other wonderful things too, like my, my weekly series on me doing random game modes that are a little bit wackier than normal. You know, Saxon Hale and everything else. I think I want to do some uh, prop hunt or randomizer next. So do stay tuned for some of that too, just uh, the, the more silly stuff. But I am going to try and maintain the portal to competitive TF2 right here on youtube.com slash fatmop. And hey, shut up. My stream chat's like making fun of me for, for it not being weekly. It's totally going to be weekly from now on, okay? Until school starts up again, then I'm just going to have to shut it down. <laughs> you know. Anyway, uh, I will see you guys later. And I appreciate the views. I appreciate that you have watched this far. Adios.